Welcome back. Welcome back to us all. To me, to you, to we. To the channel. Anyway, this week I was looking at recipes for a thing called a shakshuka. Uh, it's a North African dish. I think it originated in Tunisia. Originally. And, and the, the essence of it is a sort of rich tomato sauce and then you drop eggs in towards the end into little pockets in the sauce and they poach so it's like this tomato-y eggy thing i like it i've done it before didn't want to do it again this time then i looked at a variation called a menemin from turkey i think it's menemin 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 do, 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 do. Men sorry to the people from menemin uh it's an area in turkey i believe so anyway, they do it slowly differently, again, sort of eggsy pepper, sorry, tomatoey peppery base. And then rather than dropping the eggs into holes, they cover the whole thing uh, in, in the egg mixture to make a sort of topping. Again, like the idea. Want to do it slightly differently, though. What am I going to do? I'm going to head to the other side of the Atlantic, to South and Central America, and do the tomatoes with the, a sort of spiciness that is more traditional on that side of the Atlantic. So I'm going to use chipotle and cumin. But roughly the same idea. And then there's going to be cheese involved on the top. Anyway, this is absolutely delicious. I like the fusion of the different times uh, side of the Atlantic. So I even like waving my finger around in the lens. But anyway, let's get on with it. This is pretty damn gorgeous and what is on today's board of goodness tomato -y thing has lots of tomatoes in it these cherry fine tomatoes very very nice between the two packs i think there was about 20 uh we have a red onion i would go for a whole pepper i only had half left about six eggs well mixed uh some very sharp jaw cheddar thinks probably about 180 grams i used of that i had a tin of mixed bean salad you can beans of your choice uh chipotle i love the earthy hotness it's a very very nice sauce and then to finish off some chipotle chopped tomatoes you can use more fresh less fresh more tinned whatever it's your choice and then to soak up all the juices we've got some nice soft pitters coming in from the left right Throw it over there. On we go. Mmm. Fry some onions, you say? That was an entirely unusual occurrence in my cooking. Anyway, get on with it. Onions, lovely, wonderful. Bite some many things. Fry away. It's going to be a couple of minutes. Then throw in your chopped red pepper. And let's start the clock. Five minutes. Mm-hmm. Tomato time start adding the tomatoes did i say at the start of this video there's about 20 of those cherry tomatoes i think if you look at them properly between the two packs there's probably more like 30. get them in start stirring this is a 10 minute part of the video Soften, 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 soften. Now get your fork in. I love this bit. You know, playing with bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. This is the tomato equivalent of bubble wrap. Get squishy. Me, 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 me. Right. Ten minutes later. At this juncture, I should point out a decision you can make. You can use a blender to whiz the tomatoes down to its paste. I have chosen not to. I have chosen to use thyme rather than a blender. But you can whiz it all down. Anyway, uh, next bit, chop tomatoes in. That's going to be another 10 minutes. So in essence, what you're doing now is reducing the sauce a little so it doesn't taste exactly like you've just thrown some fresh tomatoes and chopped tomatoes in enriching the sauce a little at this point you now add the chipotle sauce again this is a thing to taste i like quite a heady zing to my thing so quite a good splash of chipotle and, and i'll put the salt in now as well salt is as ever a personal choice so i'll start sprinkling a little see how it goes sprinkle a little see how it goes onwards this is another 10 minutes richness ahoy bean time 
wash the water out of your beans you don't need that tinny watery taste ruining your beans throw it in this particular can had some sweet corn in it which is good because if you done not about to add some huh. where are we five five minutes after the beans i now start sprinkling in some cumin this is kind of part of the south american taste thing and i tasted it and found it lacking in chipotle for me so i sprinkled some more up to you taste it see how you think right let's have a calculate we're about an hour in at the end i'll talk about that we're about an hour in so it's cheese time so great about half of that block of 180 grams of cheese spread it all over your beautiful mixture turn the heat right down now so your six eggs well whisked start pouring it all over the top so it covers the whole thing and then we're going to go in with some more cheese i think i knocked the camera over at some point so there's a little blip in the in the recording but <laughs> it's the joys of waving things around and putting cheese on so cheese egg cheese put your lid on the pan turn the heat right down what we're looking for here is probably 10 to 15 minutes you don't want it to harden to like an omelette it needs to be light fluffy with the cheese in so it's more like cheesy scrambled egg so where are we 10 15 minutes into that so an hour and a quarter at the moment it all should be done lift the top off your pan really carefully because as you can see in the film i got a little blast of steam and stuff it was very nice smelling steam but still steam <sighs> What you really need to see is that little layer of eggs and cheese over the top. Like I said in the last bit, more like a scrambled egg than an omelette. So don't cook it for too long. What you want to see is the tomatoes start to bubble up through the, the eggy cheesiness. This is, oh, really enjoyed making this. Round the edge, make sure that it's coming away from the pan. And then serve generously onto your plate. This is oh, amazing. Warm up your pitta, throw it onto the side of the plate. You'll fork this into your mouth, but you need the pitta to soak up the juices afterwards. Oh, it was really gorgeous if I say so myself. So I promised briefly at the end to talk about the time. You can bring this down to 30 minutes. How? By putting all the tomatoes in together and after about 10 minutes, whiz them up with your blender. Then throw in the beans and the chipotle another few minutes. The the eggs and the cheese bit at the end is not going to ever take less than 10 minutes because it needs to cook properly. But you can bring it in as a whole to about 30 minutes. A quick dish. It's not going to be quite so rich, but it'll still be gorgeous. Anyway, um, thank you very much, as always, for making it this far into the video. Always appreciate it. I know I say that every time, but I really do. You know, it's a new channel, so whoever turns up and watches is just... It's a little blessing for me and my time of doing this. Anyway, uh, we're in the late 40s of videos, I think 46 or 47. Plenty more to come. Like and subscribe and all the YouTube stuff. Thank you and goodbye.